Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to make a crescent moon into a granny square. You will need two different colors and the crochet hooks to go with it. I will leave you all the measurements and the material I used in the description box below. So let's get started. We start with a magic ring. We are going to make inside the magic ring 18 double crochet. The first double crochet is a single crochet and one chain. Then we continue make a double crochet inside the magic ring until we have 18. I have the 18 double crochet, now we can close our ring. And we're going to slip stitch in that chain on top of the single crochet that we made when we started. Make one more chain. We can cut the yarn and we make a knot. Now we can switch color for the moon. I have the new color. We're going to make a slip knot. I'm going to start here where we join. You can start everywhere. I'm going to insert the hook, pick up a loop and make a single crochet in this way. I'm going to carry with me this too so I can hide it while I'm working. Into the second stitch we're going to make two half double crochet into the same stitch. One and two. Into the next stitch we are going to make three double crochet. One two and three. Into the next stitch we are going to make three extended double crochet. The extended double crochet is like this. Yarn over, insert your hook, pick up a loop. Yarn over, close two, yarn over, close one, yarn over, close two. Again, yarn over, close two, yarn over, close one, yarn over, close two. We need three into the same stitch. Into the next stitch we are going to make three treble or triple crochet is yarn over twice, insert your hook, pick up a loop, yarn over, close two, yarn over, close two, yarn over, close two. The treble is yarn over twice, insert your hook, pick up a loop, yarn over, close two, yarn over, close two, yarn over, close two. We need three treble into the same stitch. And we have the first part of our crescent moon. 
Now we're going to do the same pattern but in the opposite way for the next part. So we start with our three treble into the same stitch. So into this stitch we make one two and three treble crochet into the next stitch we are going to make three extended double crochet Into the next stitch we are going to make three double crochet one two and three into the next stitch two half a double crochet one and two into the last stitch one single crochet and we have our crescent moon so at this point we should have eight stitch left but we can yarn over cut the yarn we're going to switch color I have my main color again so we are going to make a slip knot We are going to insert our hook into the first stitch of our moon. So here we pick up a loop and we make single crochet. We are going to make a single crochet in each stitch all over the moon. In this way. You finish your single crochet until here and I will meet you there. I finished the single crochet around the moon and now here in this left over stitches into the first one we are going to make a double crochet. Into the next stitches we are going to make half a double crochet except for the last one so half a double crochet into the next stitches and the last one we're going to make our fur like our first one a double crochet in this way now we can join in this stitch we slip stitch into the first single crochet that we had here now here we can go back into the same stitch make a single crochet and one chain which represent a double crochet so we can start the next round into the next stitch we are going to make half double crochet into the next three stitches we are going to make single crochet one two 
into the next stitch half a double crochet into the next stitch a double crochet now here we're going to build a corner so to do that we're going to use the extended double crochet so yarn over like we did before we close two we close one we close two we need another and we have a two now chain one into the same stitch we're going to make two more one and two extended double crochet in this way now here we are going to repeat this part that we did before so one double crochet one half a double crochet oops three single crochet into the next three stitches one half a double crochet one double crochet and we're going to build the next corner so turn over insert your hook extended double crochet extended double crochet chain one and two more extended double crochet in this way and now we are going to repeat our pattern one double crochet one half double crochet three single crochet one two three and half a double crochet one double crochet again and we're going to build our next corner you continue in this way until the end and i will meet you there i'm at the end of this round that's how it looks like so far now if you want here you can switch color for the next round you just slip stitch and add a new color or you can continue like we're going to do now so now i'm going to slip stitch into the chain on top of the single crochet like we usually did into the next stitch i'm going to make a single crochet and one chain now we are going to make all double crochet so next stitch double crochet and we continue in this way until the corner and i will show you what we're going to do almost at the end here in our corner in the middle where we have our chain we're going to make two double crochet one chain and two double crochet Now we continue with the double crochet just be careful here because this is our stitch but sometimes it gets covered from the other stitches so here we start with our double crochet and we have our first corner we continue double crochet in the corner two double crochet one chain two double crochet all the way around i'm at the end of this round now we can 
cut the yarn with the yarn needle we are going to join our work we are going into the second stitch and then in this stitch again like this and we can weave in the end in the back And you're going to do the same with the other ends. I finished weaving the ends. That's how it looks like. And our crescent moon granny square is ready. I hope you like this video. If it's so, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.